Good morning. So here we go, starting with our first element of art, that is line. So it's probably a good idea for you to go and look at the color version of this in the classroom stream. So we've got some different types of line here. This is very simple. Vertical, horizontal, diagonal, dashed, zigzag, and curved. And here is a fantastic illustration of what happens when you use different types of line. This makes the most beautiful design element. And if you recall the work that you did on your Converse um, design project and your skateboard design project, this is exactly how you guys created amazing work without even thinking about it. So now we're just thinking about what the elements are. So we've got those different types of line over here. Horizontal, dashed, curved, zigzag, diagonal, and vertical. Then we've got contour lines and cross contour lines. Contour line is simply the outline of an object. And that is what you are going to be starting with for your design booklet. Remember I said that you had to choose an object. So you're going to think very carefully about your object and about the outline. Then, cross contour lines are lines that follow the contour of the object. Notice how this pumpkin becomes 3D immediately with the cross contour lines, but looks like a flat thing over here. Then we've got hatched lines and cross-hatched line. So hatched lines are just parallel lines used to create value, which is a fancy arty word for shading or light and dark areas. Have a look at how these lines have been used. These are really close together and these are further apart. And this creates a wonderful optical illusion. This looks like a dark shaded area and this part as well, simply by using cross-hatched lines, which are lines that intersect. The same thing has been done here with diagonal line. Here, the lines are closer together, and it gives a kind of a shaded feel. And over here, the cross-hatched lines have also been used to create form and value. And then we have line quality, which is thickness or thinness. Have a look at this. Do you see how this line, this thick line over here, has a really different quality to the thinner line, and this is often used in typography or lettering. Have a look at this. So if this is colored in, okay, this is a thick line over here, and these are thinner lines, and it helps to give this lettering over here a really unique and interesting quality. Okay, so now we're moving on to what you're gonna be doing, what you're gonna be practicing yourselves, and we've got this shape over here, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to fill this in with cross contour lines. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw these in. Remember, a cross contour line follows the contour of something. And I'm actually going to try out something on the other side that I saw on this worksheet. Um, I'm going to vary my line. I'm going to make a little bit of a thicker line there. And I'm making these lines really close together over here. And look at, look at this. See, this immediately creates an interesting effect. So I want you to think about that, okay? So you're going to do different types of line. And make it original. Don't, you don't have to copy mine. You've got lots of ideas over here. Then we're going to fill the circles to show hatch and cross-hatched lines. And now, here's something really important. Please remember this, guys. Remember to draw the lines along the contour of the circle. What does that mean? Well... I'm going to do my cross contour following the outline. Contour is outline. So I'm going to do my cross hatched lines like this and like this. And then I'm actually going to do this. Remember, cross hatched is lines that intersect. So I'm going to do this for that one. Wow, look, I've made a whole different thing. It looks like a spider web with kind of 3D thing. And I'm going to make another one where I'm actually going to do a whole thing like this and like this and then I'm going to make round 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 and that gives this a whole different unique quality okay so we've tried that now we're going to do some interesting line quality lines I'm going to make some thick some thin, okay, there we go. That's a really nice little doodle there. 
This is used in calligraphy. You will see this a lot in Islamic art as well. Um, beautiful different line and also in obviously in calligraphy, which is um, beautiful writing with a pen. And then over here, we did this before, right at the beginning of term, and I just want you guys to have some fun with a whole lot of different types of line like this. So this is just a little practice like this. And the more you do, the more the merrier, right? So please do not use pencil for this. Pencil is boring, okay? I want you to use black marker or you can even use color. But pencil is super boring. Gray pencil. Can't stand it. <laughs> if you guys visit the art room, you'll see why. Because it's a color festival. <laughs> Okay, so black and white is very effective. Having said that, black and white is very effective. So I want you guys to try out a whole lot of different line variations like this and to really have fun and just to make your work really interesting and beautiful. So that is what you're going to do for this worksheet. Okay, once you have finished practicing on your worksheet like that and you're happy with the way that looks, you are going to move on to the next section where is, uh, which is sorry, where you are going to work on the first panel of your design booklet. Right, good job, let's move on.